hello everyone welcome to another upload hope you're all doing great as the jamaican olympic trials approach that's starting this thursday june 27 i believe that all eyes will be on elaine thompson here and as you have heard you know she will not be contesting the 200 meters so she'll be only doing the 100 meters but despite the fact that i know that there are a lot of events especially the men 100 meter that is going to be very competitive i believe that all eyes will be on tom zahira because people want to see if she'll be able to overcome her current challenges and secure a place for paris 2024 but just before we get into more details on jamaica's national trials i mean i know you must have been watching the u.s trials and boy i tell you it was a whole lot of excitement on the track i think the highlights for most persons you know was the 100 meter boat for women and male and of course you know by now that the world champion shikari richardson booked her spot on the plane to paris and her teammates as well now that was interesting that the the, the sweep was done by all three teammates so shikari richardson came in first melissa melissa jefferson came in second and tt T. terry i'm absolutely so happy for her because a lot of persons you know thought that you know she wasn't going to pick up an individual spot but she persevered and you know i'm excited i'm excited for her now truth be told you know you know how us jamaicans are i remember the last relay at worlds when us beat jamaica in the four by 100 and you know the way tt terry was celebrating it kind of rubbed me you know but i am extremely happy that she made top three i mean you know we are they beat us so that's why i felt that way but it's 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 no it is not in any way any you know bad feelings or any ill wish towards tt terry but it's kind of a hype girl you know if you remember that race and you saw she celebrated you know that she is one hype piece of lady and i'm happy that she made top three also on the men's side you know noah lyles has showed the world that you know he wants to add some gold medals to his one olympic bronze medal and he actually did pretty well on the track to qualify for paris he came in first um kenny bednarik came in second and fred curly fred curly picked up his part to to paris for the 100 meters <laughs> i don't know some things just happened with Fred of recently. I'm happy to see that Fred has also made the team for Paris. Like, honestly, I am happy. You know, Christian Coleman came in fourth. Unfortunately, he didn't make top three. But that's a recap of the U.S. trials on the weekend. Looking forward to the 200 meters. I think the 200 meters will take place on the 29. That's this weekend again. So... I mean, if Noah picked up his spot for the 100 meters, and I have no doubt that he is also going to qualify for the 200 meters. So, you know, will he be able to win the double? Will he be able to win the double at the Olympics like he did at Worlds? We don't know, but I'm sure that that is his plans. I just hope that somewhere around the corner a jamaican is there to mash up that plan and uh, yeah so definitely looking forward to the 200 meters um on the weekend as i said if no picked up a spot in the 100 meter which is not his better event then we definitely is anticipating that you know he will also do well in the 200 meters yeah i'm not well i have him down to win the 200 meters of course the youngster area night is back all fortunate for him yeah the ruling you know they have ruled him fit to compete despite that positive test because they said that he could have he could have entered his system from 
eating some contaminated meat so luckily for him he will get to compete we'll see if he'll pick up a spot as well for the 200 meters but back to the reason why i you know thought about doing this video today because of course the u.s trials is on the way and jamaica national trials will begin on june 27 and i just feel that you know I, I know a lot of jamaicans i know people around the world are going to come out because they want to see what our athletes are going to be bringing to the table however i think that all eyes will be on elaine thompson here now the reigning olympic champion is set to compete only in the 100 meter at the upcoming trials and that is according to the entry listing that was posted by the jamaica athletics administrative association and we can understand why elaine would have taken this decision i mean she has not run a 200 meters since april 2023 and of course we know that she is dealing with with some issues so that there, that wasn't any surprise for me the thing is that we still do not know we have no idea in terms of what her recovery has been like in the past two weeks in fact we're not even sure how 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 much of a recovery is possible from the nature of that injury so i'm saying all eyes will be on her because i mean we don't know what to expect we don't know if she is better we don't know if she has healed to a point where she can compete competitively now as you know our season has been marred by injuries and underwhelming performances uh, the 31 year old has clocked a season's best of 11.30 seconds in the 100 meter but finished last in both races she competed in and of course at the nyc grand prix she ran 11.48 seconds but then she had to be lifted off the track because it seems as if she you know picked up an injury and this is an injury that she has been dealing with forever an aching achilles and it's a recurring issue throughout her career it just that it appeared that some her previous coach you know was able to you know how to train around it as opposed to you know all the other persons that she has been working with since it would appear that you know they have not got the signs down as to how to really get her to perform around that injury and so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the 100 meters come thursday leading up in to the weekend as i've said already i want to see thompson here in the top three because you know the fact that she has to opt out of the 200 meters because of her situation it would be too sad not to see her in the 100 meters well the defending champion you know not qualifying or not able to show for any of those events so i'm praying for elaine thompson here i'm hoping that we'll see her in the top three and i want to hear from you do you agree with me that for the national trials all eyes locally and internationally will be on elaine thompson here drop your comments remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and until my next upload take care